welcome to another layout. Now, this one I'm using my glimmer foil and I'm using the leftovers of this star that I used the other day during the live. So I wanted to, I'm trying to give you guys ideas of different things you can like use this, this bit you would normally throw away, right? So I'm trying to give you ideas on how to use it. Now, can you see what I just did? Legit, I'm, I'm hopeless. I was trying not to let the foil actually touch the sticky mat. I have destroyed this mat. I kid you not. I'm glad it was only $2.50. But anyway, so I foiled, I used my art glitter glue and I foiled the leftover pieces. Now, this next bit kind of, I was trying to think of a way of using all that, I can still see stacks of color on that foil piece and I don't want to waste it. I don't want to just chuck it in the bin. So I was trying to think of another way of doing it. So I end up using it on my photo mat. Now, I haven't done something like this big, bold, black acrylic paint lines, just big, solid, chunky lines. I haven't done that for a while. So I thought, you know what, that could work in the background. It gives a lot of bold background, but it's not a solid color. Now I'm using a big flat, it's a Montmartre brush and it's a flat, um, what is it even called? Does it have a name on it? Can I see it under all the paint? It's called, it's the gallery series. It's a number 16 flat brush. That's all I can tell you. I don't know. Other than that, that's the extent of my brush knowledge. Unless it's written on the side of the brush, I just call it a flat brush or a pointy brush. Uh, I shouldn't say that. I do have more knowledge than that. There's obviously filberts. There's, um, you know, there's filbert brushes. There's round brushes. And I like the, I like the filberts, believe it or not. Um, fan brushes, like, I do know what they are, but I'm just mucking around. To be honest with you guys, I've got to tell you something. So, I know this is a really quick video, but I have to squirrel for a second because... I kid you not, I have just listened to the Matthew Perry, um, his, his book, his a memoir. Um, and I've just, there was a lady, if you just want to know who it is, I can tell you who it is down the track. I'll, I'll put it up on Facebook or something. Um, but there's a lady that has actually loaded it up the, um, the audio book onto YouTube so you can listen to it and all the proceeds are going towards something else. So, and they demonetized it and whatever else. Anyway, um, I have to say I have been a friend's nut my entire life, like from the very first, pi very first pilot episode. And now my kids are into it. And obviously from an adult perspective, things are very different to how I was as a very young adult watching it as it was actually forming, you know? Um, yeah. And to hear and know the very real struggles that he had. Um, yeah, it, it kind of rocked me a bit. I've got to say it's really rocked me. Normally I can smash out at least two videos a day. That one threw me it's, it really threw me. So, um, yeah, I literally just finished it now and I got three videos, three layouts done, but, um, yeah, it was, threw me off a bit. So back to this. Now, what I'm actually doing, you can see I put the foil, so I put the art glitter glue just randomly on the pieces and then I attach the foil to it. Now this is the transfer foil and it's the transfer foil and it says heat transfer, but you don't need heat transfer for it. You can use it with glue and it works just fine. You can do it on tape, all that sort of stuff. So for me, I love this because it's multiple colors. It's shiny, it's sparkly. I love it. I don't advise doing it on top of your cricket mat because you know, we live and we learn. I knew it, look, it was, it was the lesser of two evils. I knew if I moved those pieces off the mat, I would never get them back in the right position. 
So I had to either make the decision, and as you can see from the Merry Christmas I did the other day, I did it anyway. So this mat, it's still sticky, okay? It's not, it's not completely destroyed, but I've definitely killed it a bit. So I absolutely love how this turns out. I wanted to use these pieces because these are typically the bits that you would just scrape off because they're the negative pieces and you would chuck them in the bin. I don't want to waste them. I want to show you guys and going into 2024, I want to start showing you guys that yes, you pay for a cut file, you buy a cut file or you get a free cut file from somewhere. The point that I'm trying to make is you've paid for that piece of cardstock. Now I use Poppy Crafts, um, smooth white cardstock and it cost me I think it's about 30 cents a sheet 20 30 cents a sheet that's not the end of the world right but obviously I do a lot of scrapbooking right so it does cost me a bit but all of that being said at the end of the day that's still your hard-earned money so if you've cut out a cut file and you've got a negative that you're going to just throw in the bin why not try and rethink a sister page so this page here is actually going to be the sister page to the star that I did on the live the other day so I did a live on Tuesday if you want to see what that one is you can go into my lives on YouTube and you can click on it and it's got the date next to it and you can see so that was with the positive part and this is with the negative part so I just wanted to show you guys that. Now, I've been doing that with a, with a few different layouts lately and I've had some really positive feedback from it for from people saying, you know, like, that's really good. We're not wasting stuff. You're showing us how to do things differently with it. And this page will be a companion page that will go next to that other star to literally show the, you know, the two different layouts. Now, I... I, I stuck these down onto some white cardstock. Are they measured perfectly? Heck no, they're not. They're just, they're down there. They look okay. They look good enough. And all I'm doing is just going to town with my scissors. I'm, I mean, I'm using three different sizes of scissors here, so stick with me. Um, just to try and give a little bit of an offset feel to it so that there would be a white separation between the pieces that I had foiled and then I went around those with the black pen so I just used my Posca paint pen and I went around the edges of them glued them onto the white card and then you can see how it goes from there now this is how I do the foiling guys just the art glitter glue I'm just putting squiggles everywhere and because I had a fan going in my room it literally was like seconds and while it's tacky Get that foil on there and you can just keep adding it. See how much foil is still on that piece of carrier sheet? It's, to me, it, I've paid for that. So for me, I want to be able to use that to my max ability, basically. I don't want to throw that in the bin. So what I actually did after this, and I did put a photo up on Facebook, um, I actually had a piece of transfer tape, uh, sorry, some um, double-sided A4 sheet. I used it the other day and I had this little strip left and it was perfectly unused. It had a piece of vellum on the back of it. So I just went to town and got as much of that foil off the carrier sheet onto that double-sided tape and now I can use that to back letters I could use it to punch out shapes I could die cut with it all those sort of things and it's that beautiful foily colored multi-colored it just looks awesome I love it love 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 it so over the Christmas New Year break if anyone has foil on sale do yourself a favor and get yourself some because it is so much fun. I love it. Now, I'm starting to pull this page together and I was, so the top, I'm saying it's a crown. It's not really a crown, but that's how it looked in my head. Um, so the crown piece at the top is just glued straight down. I didn't raise that up at all. 
photo of hubby and I, um, I did raise that up. So that's on a piece of foam. And then I put some foam underneath the bottom piece. Glued those down. I've already put the splatters. Notice that I already put the black and white splatters on the page because you know, I don't like random splatters just chucked on there for no good reason after the fact. So I like to make sure that they're down beforehand because otherwise they, I always get splatters on the photos and yeah, does my head in a little bit. But I also really enjoy having the the purposeful dots you know like liquid pearls or a bit of paint or um my flat back pearls or i really love the you know what i need to pull out my pink fresh studio um bling because i'm sitting on it and i'm hoarding it because i love it so much isn't that ridiculous why do we do that I swear to God, I thought about it after the fact. I've actually just completed two layouts and I've got a, got another layout in my head and I really want to do it and I have to work tomorrow. So I have to, um, I'm going to get it started tonight because I've got the idea in my head and I've got to get it out of my head to make way for more ideas. It's how my brain works. I swear to God, it's crazy. So I just used some of the Amy Tangerine stickers I got those in the, they're, they're just alpha stickers. They're an a Amy Tangerine book and I'm just running around giving myself a bit of a border and I've done my little crown on the top. So that star, I just divided it in half and I've put a little bit at the bottom, a little bit at the top so it doesn't really look like a star anymore. And I'm loving how this is looking. Now, I'm going along with my pen because as much as the big bold black lines were great, they were kind of polarizing to me. So I'm going through with my Uniball Signo Broad white pen. It's a pigment pen. If you haven't got one of these, ask for one for Christmas because I tell you what, they are so good. They are bright white. They, providing you do not run them through wet paint, they work and go forever. I love them. Absolutely love them. And you can get a three pack from office works for about 11 bucks so totally worth it i think the white stripes helped it it kind of pushed those black lines back a little bit further and because the photo is black and white as well i think it was just really sucking the black forward so that's what i did then now i decided i wasn't sure that i wanted to put any more sprinkly bits on here because I had the splatters, but the splatters are flat paint. So they are both um, acrylic paint. So I did black and white splatters in matte acrylic paint. So I, even though the foil's on there, the foil isn't really super in your face. So I felt like I really could get away with putting some extra bling on here. So I committed to the cause and I went you know what I'm just going to do it just going to do it and we'll just see what happens so I pulled out my black now I don't use these as often as I actually thought I would when I bought them and I thought a bit of tone on tone here I might be able to I was trying to join the bottom half to the top a little bit more and sort of make it flow a little bit better from top to bottom and in my mind, I was actually thinking, imagine if you had um, like bubble bath and it was spewing over the edge of the bathtub and it was rolling down. That's what that's what I was thinking of with these flat back pearls. They're kind of like bubble bath. They're just going from the top crown down the sides of the photos and then across onto the floor. That's pretty much, that's what, that's... I had some people ask me, I had I actually had two people last week, believe it or not, ask me, how do you know when to use flat back pearls? And what are you thinking when you're using them? Because I get stuck. And that's why I explained where my brain was going with the bubbles. Because that, on this layout, that's what I'm thinking of. And I'm trying to think of ways to... Um, 
tie that into the layout now I do come in with some Nuvo crystal drops as well in the ebony black um, and they help by giving me a different size of dot does that make sense so can you see here like down at the bottom some of them are a lot smaller and then I do some a little bit bigger and that way the Nuvo crystal drops I have said this before I don't have a lot of success in them staying raised up like I do with the liquid pearls but it's just a different formula guys but they are super glossy they are really really glossy and I to be fair I only have this black bottle that's all I have I don't have any of the other ones but um because I really like the formula of the liquid pearls so you know I'll see what else I can come up with now this is it guys this is as simple as it is this is the entire layout I want to say thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like subscribe leave me a comment I'm really loving my comments at the moment they're really getting me over a bit of a flat moment that I'm having so um, please leave me a comment I'd love to hear from you guys and don't forget I've got my buy me a coffee link in the description as well in case you would like to help support the channel into the new year um, and that's it guys I will have everything listed in the description below that I have used and check out that colory goodness I love it absolutely love it thanks so much for watching guys I'll be back with you tomorrow for another video bye for now